This bunker is said to be the place where members can travel to in the future from other places in the universe. Moving on to number seven. Anyways, okay. number seven it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> where did the money for that come from? Oh, come on. Where did the money for that come from, huh? You Listen. absolute stupid f***ing idiots. The Got the whole gang here and we packing a lip. Got all the hoes here and we packing a lip. All right, everybody. We're going to switch gears. We're going to watch some terrifying things Google Earth doesn't want you to see. Last time we did a video on Google Earth, people fucking loved it for whatever fucking reason. So I want to do it again. Let's do it. Scary things, scary things. Tell them, Ethan, what, if they're watching on YouTube, what do they do? You're going to leave a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. But please subscribe to the channel on top of that. Absolutely. We appreciate the support from everybody, and we love you. And I mean that. Actually, I love you. I'm not going to speak for him. He's fucking... Yeah, Dude, these, yeah. these people watching don't like you, Ethan, all right? Quit trying to fucking suck up to you him. You tell me not to be mean to him, and then I say something nice. You're like, calm down. It don't make sense. You're throwing me under the bus, dude. All right. Leave a like and a comment, people. Come on. What the hell's wrong with you? Please. You fucking dumbass. All right, <laughs> let's watch the fucking video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, would you piss in your fucking seats? Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have the star. While searching through images, someone stumbled upon an isolated <coughs> corner of Kazakhstan, and here they found a large pentagram etched into the ground, which of course may have set off some alarm bells. The five-point star is surrounded by a circle and is very clearly visible. And of course, once the image began circling the internet, people were coming up with... That looks a lot different than the previous picture. I swear we saw this one last time. Didn't we? The pentagram thing last we time? We may have, yeah. This looks familiar. I'm sure it does. <laughs> okay. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's tattooed on your ass. But go back. Look at that. Yeah, like dude. This. this editing, bro. Yeah. It's editing. Crazy, I know. I don't know how to fucking edit anything. The most I mean, wild does this theories person. and explanations. In the end, it turned ever. out to be the exact opposite of something sinister. It's actually the outline of a park that was made into the shape of a star. The star is so clearly marked because of the roadways, and where there's no road, there's a lot of trees, which makes the symbol stand out even more. It's like the best possible outcome for this one, honestly. A beautiful tree lined park in the shape of a star. How lovely. And our mm. ninth spot. I don't remember seeing that. It just so happened to be like that. We did not know it was upside down. We did down not know stars. it was hailing Satan in the park. Why would we ever do that? It only cost twenty million dollars to build the park, funded by funded by the Rothschilds. We had no it idea. It was a BlackRock and Vanguard project. <laughs> now give us your money for your Roth IRA. <laughs> Has the disappearance. On November 7th of 1997, 40-year-old William Moult was reported missing after going out one night and never returning home. Sadly, the police had no leads as we to We saw this one too, because the fucking car is in the... It's in that pond or whatever right there. Really? Yeah, I remember seeing this one. All right, William well. could this one go to check out some properties yeah, when he saw something strange in a pond near the home and retrieved his car. Yeah, we saw that. Hidden in the New Mexico desert in the first place. We saw that one. Car in the pond is worth two in the lake. <laughs> uh, we have the secret bunker. Hidden in the New Mexico desert is a secret bunker surrounded by strange symbols. These symbols oh, really? We have problems. A secret bunker in Mexico? What the fuck could it be? It ain't what real. could it be? Did she say Mexico or New Mexico? Hidden in the New Mexico desert. Okay, well. God damn it, dude. You fucked up. There I is did. a secret bunker surrounded Cancel. by strange symbols. These symbols <laughs> were thought to be done by the... Those are just... Uh, it's just a park. They're your new Mexican titties. <laughs> <laughs> they overlap. It's a park for people to play in. It just so happens to spell hell, Satan, kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know it stood for Moloch, the owl god. And it's said to be the alien space cathedral of the Church of Scientology. What Former the fuck? There you have John it. Hubbard says that the symbols mark a return point for reincarnation. The bunker even has its own private... It just happens to be on the cheapest portion of land in the United States. Trip ...for the church's leaders. In 2005, it was confirmed that this bunker does indeed exist. This bunker is said to be the place where members can travel to in the future from other places in the universe. Moving on to number seven. Anyways, okay. number seven it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we just so happened to build an airstrip for, uh, you know, things from other universes. 
We will not be taking our private planes there. I just want to know, um, you know, where did the money for that come from? Oh, come on. Where did the money for that come from, huh? It's probably Joel Osteen. Fucking absolute <laughs> morons. <laughs> you Listen. absolute stupid fucking idiots. The blind leading the blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's very simple. Can we start a religion? I'm going to go build an airstrip somewhere. I am honestly down. I'm <laughs> down for real. It's unbelievable. Guys, give me your money. And We're going to build an airstrip for Jimbo. We're going to start the church of Jimboism. <laughs> if you just show up, all you need is a drill bit and a beer can and $25 cash money, non-taxed. <laughs> Hand it to me. Oh, my and you're God. Good. That you're is good to go. Unfucking believable. All right, let's go. I believe <laughs> Anyways, it all at this point, honestly. That is just so bizarre to me. There's fucking people dying, but, you know. People starving to death in the street. We're going to build an airstrip for aliens. <laughs> in New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they will reincarnate. Oh, you think aliens want to come here? <laughs> I think that they can travel trillions of miles, and then they're like, where the hell are we going to land? You know what? I want to go talk to Ron L. Dumbass tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, we have the Blood Red Lake. Just outside of Sadr City in Iraq, there is a lake that is completely red. Do you know why? Given the name. Do you know why that is? Yes, but you go ahead. Why? Because it used to be... Uh... No, go ahead. Those are the remains of Tomato Town. When they changed the map, all the debris from the cube of Mecca. I, saw, I thought it was where Tampax was invented. <laughs> that is actually where Heinz Ketchup was founded. Yeah. Back when... No, not founded, discovered. Look at it. It's no, right there. They mined it. You're right. Yeah. Mined it out of the earth. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> exactly. Don't mind if I do. They fucking took it right out. You should see where they found mayonnaise if you think that's crazy. It's fucking wild. Probably. <laughs> St. Helen. Nah. <laughs> they found it in your backyard. Big old earth cock. <laughs> Blood Red Lake. It had Duke's the mayonnaise is in your swimming pool. Remains a mystery. <laughs> But of course, we have some theories. One is that pollution or sewage caused it to turn Neither. red. Neither. Another is that it's a result of the water treatment process. It's a result of cranberry Whereas juice from the nursing home. That the lake is red from blood running into it from a slaughterhouse. To this day, Amen. no one has offered an official explanation as to why this river looks like blood. In our sixth spot today, we have the oil refinery. The yeah. oil refinery, Sas Halambata, is so private that they wanted God. Google Earth to block them out. But instead of Thanks blurring it or months. barring it with a black box, they asked Google to have it colored green, and no one knows why. Now it just looks like a weird football field. A lot of people <coughs> are wondering what they're trying to protect or hide from us. Hopefully, they aren't trying to hide some illegal or shady activity that they're into. We're now at our How much did they pay Google for that? The French nuclear... It's like, we'll give you $5 billion. Just don't take a picture of us from space. They're probably best friends with people that run Google. Probably, hey, man. Not cool, man. I had my dick out on that oil refinery. I was taking a piss, man. Yeah, it was something like that. And Somewhere around there. And then fucking the dude who's like the they devil's... They said, when you go to the top of the firmament, like, don't be taking a picture of us. The guy who's like the devil's cousin is like, dude, my bad, bro. Don't worry, I'll just make it a little green so it blends in with the rest of the earth. No one's going to notice, bro. Be all good. That's that's actually what happened. Probably. If I, I read to... the comments. That's what happened. Facility. La Hog is a nuclear fuel reprocessing facility in France that opened in 1976. It is responsible for treating nuclear fuel from several countries. But here's the thing. Since 1997, Greenpeace has been trying to... Dude, the French are cranking their hogs with nukes. Cut <laughs> it down. They have been yeah, dumping problems. one million uh, liters of liquid radioactive Per day. One million Ocean. liters of liquid racism into the French Canal. For the environment. What's even more messed up is that the site wasn't the always Pandemonium Canal. Out. But when people heard about the whole green That's where they make star kiss tuna. They had Google Earth blur out their location. <laughs> this has led people to believe that they are still dumping oh! this radioactive waste into the ocean. It's all their tech they trash. They don't want people to see what they're doing. <laughs> In our fourth spot, I'm surprised that Google even bothers taking pictures of French people. 
Everyone knows the French don't recycle their sewing kits for rope. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. If you ain't using scrap to buy a mini heli, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> that don't even make sense. Soap. I love we're that gonna, we're already We're going to go crank our hogs in, in French land, soap. Why are we already at number four, but it's like four minutes into the video? Because probably uh, because French people can't count. My fault, dude. Prisons. <laughs> now, there are prisons. Of prisons that are blurred Here out on Google Earth, including the Beaumont Prison in France or the Almira Correctional Facility. Now, there's a number of reasons for this. The main one being so that criminals don't figure out the layout like of these prisons. French they're afraid that they will uh, use this information to plan an escape. In fact, this actually happened a couple of times. Following a successful jailbreak at the Beaumont Prison, France's Prime Minister of Justice was like, it's because they knew the layout of the building. So this resulted in the prison being blurred along with a number of other prisons. In our second spot, about we have the giant... Dude, the giant sea monster has already been explained. I this want to see a giant video. fucking squid. They've already been explained, though. What? It's just a blue whale taking a shit. Actually? Yes. Sea monster. A we giant really squid is not real. On in our ocean. Like yeah, over 80% of it remains ones. unexplored. And with all the nuclear Thanks waste the that's going in it, it's a squid who knows right what there. kind of beast lurk out there? Well, one of them might have been caught on camera. This image is what appears to be a massive sea beast. We don't know for sure what exactly it is. It'd actually it be me shit in the, the toilet. Antarctica's Deception <laughs> Island. That's right. The island is called Deception Island. It's kind of eerie. Giant okay, calamari. What's up, Trippy? This thing being an underwater UFO. Hey! Even the Loch Ness monster, which, if it's Nessie. That was a whale taking a shit. No, that one was different. Then what is it doing all the way over there? Anyways, I will say it looks that one beat me shit in the like toilet. A giant squid. Who's trying to make a trip over there to figure it out in person? Maybe we can catch this beast. I'm just kidding. No, thank you. And in our number one, I would, dude, if I saw a giant squid, I would freak the fuck out. If I saw a, a you would freak out. If I saw a medium sized oh, no, squid, no, 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 don't freak out, dude. If I Please. Saw if I saw a medium-sized oh, no. squid, like, if I saw the mild salsa tier squid, I'd freak the fuck out. If that was mild salsa, I'd eat it. Why? What would you do if you saw the large one? Like, how large are we talking? You're the one making the rules. You said you'd freak out about something. If I saw a squid in general, I'd be What does pretty... freak out mean? I'd be like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Anything else? While we're here. How big of a squid are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> I think if we're talking squids, I think we're talking, let's go, we're going big squids. Okay. Like Burj Khalifa squid. Oh my God, that that big? Burj Alibab Khalifa squid. Wiz Khalifa squid. <laughs> <laughs> that KK squid. <laughs> I don't know. We're going Ali Bob Khalifa squid. If I saw a squid that big, what is it? I mean, what is it doing? Is it is it just doing squid shit, or is it like chilling up against a little fucking palm tree? I'd try and talk to it. If I saw a squid that big, I'd be like, dude, what the so fuck? So wait is a up? second. You're not freaking out and screaming. You're gonna just chat with it. I'd freak out at first if I saw a squid like up against a palm tree. See, I can confidently say I'd be in right in the middle. I wouldn't freak out. I would just drive away. You would drive away from a giant squid. Do you think a squid that big, they must live a long time, right? I would say, oh, squiddy. They must have seen some shit. Oh, squiddy. And in our number one spot today, we have the escaped killer. As you know from part one of this video series, uh, Google Earth is a snitch. You gotta watch out because an escaped killer who was on the run for nearly 20 years was caught, all thanks to Google Earth. The man's name is Gio Achino Gamino. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he is a convicted- It's <laughs> my favorite pasta dish. <laughs> it's like an Eminem song. <laughs> Gio Gamino Albino. <laughs> I'll take that with extra Parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the tier one. That sounds like a type of uh, Camaro. And today's special <laughs> is- His name is Gio Achino Gamino. That's I'm a Chevy. <laughs> Chevy or GMC. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he is a convicted 
a murderer, mafia member, and one of Italy's most wanted gangsters. He had been sentenced to life in prison for a murder he committed in 1998. In 2002, he managed to escape prison. He then went on to live in Spain under a fake alias. Now, well, let me explain how he got caught. So basically, someone tipped off authorities saying that he was living there and that he owned a restaurant. So they looked it up on Google Earth, and although his face was blurred, they saw him outside his restaurant. They ended mm. up tracking him down and he was arrested on December 17th of 2021. So fairly recently. Starting off this Jesus, countdown, we that's have fucking Snow wild. Saddle. Snow Saddle is a major mountain peak of the- I'd fuck the shit out of giant Squidward. Let's see what that leak do. Thank you for the $10, Quentin. <laughs> Quentin, I think you need to go buy a water pipe from your local watering hole. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off this countdown, we have Snow Saddle. Snow Saddle is a major mountain peak of the Himalayas in Nepal. But if you try to view it from Google Earth, you'll see that the whole area is blacked out, which is obviously suspicious. Why is a mountain peak blurred? What's going on there that has Google blurring it? What am thing, I? No one knows for sure. But of course, there are a number of theories. One theory is that the Vine Boy had thinks secret the expeditions to the Himalayas and found a UFO base in that area. Sounds crazy, right? Well, there have been a number of UFO sightings in that area, so maybe it is a top secret UFO base. Who knows? We don't know. In our number eight spot today, we have. Syrian crab, thanks for the four months. <laughs> the cauldron. Google Earth can basically take you anywhere except for the areas they of course have blocked off for a variety of reasons. And when I say basically anywhere, sometimes I mean even the most absurd places, including right North to Dakota. the edge of a boiling cauldron of lava. Oh. That's right, you can head right to the edge of the volcano that is located on an island in the Vanuatu chain in the South Pacific. It is cool because it's likely the closest I'll ever get to seeing this kind of view in real life, but it's also terrifying to look into that cavern that's filled with bright, hot magma. Like, even just looking at this photo, you can almost feel the heat and the panic of being at the mouth of a volcano. That's it's fucking very awesome. cool, but also very scary. In our number seven spot today, we have the Nevada Triangle. I'd like to see this image like that from in Google Maps captures a. Obviously, I'm not going no, close. I was, was going to ask, dude. I'm trying to mess around with a paraplegic girl. What is happening? I'm going right to go now? piss on that note. <laughs> what are we doing? Back to the memes. A spooky symbol that is lurking in the deserts of Nevada. I, I think conspiracy theorists have forever ruined triangles just in general, but this large one with all the circles inside, coupled them. with the minimal answers on what it is, definitely makes for a bit of an eerie sight. Right now, the most popular theory as to what this could be is a bombing target. Apparently, close by is an Air Force base, so that theory Daddy truly soup, would- Daddy sack cheese yummy yummy. Hey! Thanks for the $10. <laughs> yeah. It make quite a bit of sense. It could also be some sort of abandoned airstrip, Creeping perhaps, death. but of course, with any mystery on the internet, the there are out of more here. very wild theories out there. Of course, there's the obligatory it's aliens theory, along with some sort of Illuminati idea, but it wouldn't be the internet without it. In our number six spot today, what do you think? That was a definitely a triangle, no doubt. Yeah. And you're not going to convince me. I otherwise. think all the angles of that are 180 degrees, right? Well, you got to look at it from different angles. Mm -hmm. Isosceles or? No, 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 no. That was a triangle. Robitussin? Buddy. All right. You need to do some research on your history. That was a triangle. George Washington crafted that with his wooden tooth. A minus B squared C. It ain't nothing. It's pretty easy. George Washington Carver? Is that what you said? Thanks for the $3. Bobbert hey, Don. George Washington, what did he not know? He didn't know how to play the piccolo. <laughs> George Washington didn't know dinosaurs existed. Really? Yes. He probably also didn't know that... There's probably a lot he didn't know. He didn't know Tesla. He probably also didn't know that August 13th, 2036, the Earth was going to die from heat exhaustion. Squidward did. Squidward knew. I promise you he didn't know Geico could save you 15% or more. 
we have the fire. <laughs> As the satellites and little cars go by that document the imagery used on Google Maps, they can't exactly predict or control who or what is going to be happening in the area captured. Sometimes it might capture someone who wow. will eventually be blurred out on their front lawn. Sometimes it captures accidents. And in this case, it captured an absolutely <laughs> raging field fire in Arkansas. It would already be terrifying from the ground, but seeing it from this vantage point really shows how large and powerful it is. Someone on Reddit made a good point saying that it appears as though there are people on the south side, which likely means that the fire is contained and controlled, thankfully, but that doesn't really make it any less cool or interesting to see. In our number five spot today, we have the Valley of Dolls. Google Maps, especially the street view, is such a great way to look around a place and kind of get your bearings before you even get there. I mean, I remember almost eight years ago now, before I moved to Toronto, I spent hours digitally walking around the streets, seeing my home, where I was gonna go to school, all that jazz. It was super exciting. But sometimes you walk around a city so unlike your own that it absolutely shocks you. And that is likely what would happen if you were to just stumble upon the town or village of Nagoro in Japan, which is known as the Valley of Dolls. A woman named Fuck Ayano that. Oh. grew up in the village no. and remembers a time when it was full of families and other children just like her. But during her years in secondary school, she and her family moved to Osaka. Ayano continued to grow up. She married and had her own kids all the while her parents ended up moving back. What is on the fucking chalkboard? Dude. That is like some schizophrenic <laughs> bullshit. Dude, nah. That is no, a super genius mentality. No. The dolls, oh. the dolls wrote that. I bet they did. <laughs> I don't doubt that for a second. <laughs> Thanks for the five months. The dolls wrote that. Bugs in your shirt. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Oh, Old, old Crouton wrote that. <laughs> to the town. After her mother passed away, Thanks she for the also moved back months. to the village in order to help care for her father. The and crowd. this is when she realized that I the population em. of the town had dropped drastically since her time here as a child. While living here and trying to keep her I gardens, wonder why the population dropped. Ever since I put $4,000 on my front porch, <laughs> everyone left. It's very crazy. Thanks for the $5, Bobbert free of crows, she made a scarecrow that resembled her father, and she placed oh. it outside. When she realized that those living in the village began to mistake the scarecrow for her father, she had an idea to commemorate those in the village who had passed away. Oh, with yeah. Scarecrow. Oh, yeah. Just, I'm going to commemorate everyone who's died in this village <laughs> as a doll. Yeah, there's nothing <laughs> fucking weird or creepy about that whatsoever. She's like, I don't know why they went missing right <laughs> when I made the doll of them. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. Where is this at? Somewhere in Japan. This is creepy. I don't, I don't, yeah. I'm not a fan. Oh, and boom, 350 dolls later, the town became an attraction for travelers and journalists. It's a bit eerie to peer through on Google Maps, a but when eerie. the full story is revealed, it gets when, when some old lady is making dolls of everyone who's died in the village, 350 people who have died. It just ain't normal. Oh, I'm going to put them out in the garden, just like old Josephine used to do. <laughs> nah, dude, fuck that. Nah, I'm out. I'm out of there. <laughs> the population has decreased in the area after old woman makes dolls, 350 dolls of people who have died. <laughs> just as a hobby. It's just a hobby, guys. It's just a weird little Look quirk. Look at that picture. That looks like, welcome to my country. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Look at that, bro. Fuck that. A scarecrow to a whole new level. <laughs> sinister and actually kind of sweet. In our number four oh, spot yeah, today, we yeah. have the Costa Concordia. The Costa Concordia was a huge you know ship this. with 17 I've decks, six restaurants, and a three-story theater. The ship was Europe, big enough to hold a whopping 4,200 passengers, so there were a lot of people on this boat on January 13th, 2012. On that day, the boat's captain wanted to sail a little closer to the island of Isla del Giglio than he normally would so that he could impress and salute the residents. We he do turned be laughing. <laughs> little bit of a giggle moment <laughs> i'm going to get a little close to the giggle island you may experience a small chuckle welcome to the land of laughing <laughs> i'm going to take the biggest fucking boat you could imagine the galapagos the, giggles to the giggle island <laughs> we're going to be 20 feet offshore of the giggle island oh you may experience a small <laughs> amount of laughter in your cabin 
<laughs> Chips alarm the for the shaking, computer navigation system, which turned out to be just as terrible of an idea as you would think it is. He thought he knew the waters well enough to navigate by sight, but when the ship struck an underwater rock, things took a deadly turn. The ship. <laughs> I, I mean, wait a second. I'm just saying. Can you imagine? <laughs> You're the, you're the captain of a boat with fucking 4,000 people on it, and you're like, I can do it by sight. <laughs> I know like, Listen, these waters, Mo, buddy. I don't need that Garmin. <laughs> <laughs> I know them motherfucker waters right there. Lawrence, my ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. Side scan. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> Thanks for the two gifted. We're going to live scope it with my eyeballs. Like, I just imagine him sitting up in the bridge. He's like, 4,000 people on board. He's like, turn the GPS off. <laughs> I got this motherfucker. I've been side. through here a couple times. I've been on these waters since I was 13. <laughs> oh, He's like, I know these I waters. I took my bass tracker through here when I was 15. <laughs> it's all good. Ain't nothing right there. They just try to sell you. They don't want you to get close to giggly land. <laughs> <laughs> There's 4,000 people on. He's like, fuck technology. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, turn left. I don't care what GPS says. <laughs> Can you imagine, though, honestly? No, I couldn't. I'd be uh, like, boss, <laughs> no. <laughs> We're going to follow the GPS. <laughs> uh, it ain't like it's me and you out there on a skeeter. Like, <laughs> We're going to fucking... 4,200 people. <laughs> Listen, trust me. I know these waters. He's like, I know the waters, man. I'm from here. <laughs> they ain't from here. I'm from here. <laughs> Farmer ain't never lived in Giggleville. <laughs> and sank, which unfortunately ended up taking the lives of some of the passengers on board. The captain, who is responsible for the accident in the first place, made one more awful mistake when he abandoned ship while passengers were still stuck on board. The recovery for the ship was the largest of its kind as the huge ship had been entirely dismantled. You might be wondering why on earth I just told you an entire shipwreck story, and that is because both the wreck as well as the subsequent rescue efforts were visible on Google Earth for quite oh some time. Oh my Besides god. Imagery probably isn't even as near. Oh my god, that's crazy, bro. That is wild, bro. I didn't know that was a thing. And dude, Look they at took that. it that close. Oh my fucking well, they god! Then <clears throat> I meant the boat. <laughs> they that's took the I'm boat saying. that close. Is that we going just ride around the peninsula? <laughs> I've been here. We're going to get Can real close seriously? to Punta Gabi Nanara. <laughs> I've been around these rocks. It's just wild to think that he's got 4,000 people on. He's like, turn right. I don't care what the fucking Garmin says, buddy. You're that, fired if you don't turn right. The guy's is, like, shit. That is insane. And then uh, and then abandoned ship. <laughs> yeah. It's like, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> yeah. All right, boys. I fucked up. I'll see you later. <laughs> That is insane. Oh, man. That is absolutely wild. I doubt it's still on Google Earth. This was 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm sure they've uh, said, delete. Delete that. Yeah. <laughs> now there's $4,000 in the ocean. <laughs> to be close during those terrifying days, but it does give us an idea of the size of this disaster. In our number three spot today, we oh have in jail right now. Space wow. is very cool, but Thanks. for every so. cool yeah. and interesting thing I learn about it, I also learned one equally or even more terrifying thing about it as well. It's a very scary place, and we truly have no control over the powers of it, which is exactly why this startling image found on Google Earth is an unsettling one. Somewhere in northern Arizona, there is a mark that is like an Earth scar, and it serves as a reminder of a 50,000-year-old meteor strike. When I call it a mark or a scar, I am greatly understating it as this thing is a huge crater known as the Behringer Crater. It's the result Never of mind. a 150-foot slab of nickel iron that smashed into the Earth with the exploding force of two and a half million tons of TNT. Yeah, Holy this shit. sure makes me glad I wasn't around 50,000 years ago. This natural disaster caused this natural landmark that serves as our reminder of just how small we really are. I'm just saying. Just imagine, dude. You're telling me a nickel calls that? Dude, imagine if a quarter hit the earth. Or I a dollar. <laughs> oh. Ethan's mom fell. All right, Jay. That's uncalled for. I pooted. That's what happens every time I pooted. <laughs> dude, I'm just saying, though. Imagine you're out walking in the desert. 
You got you're fucking riding a camel or a donkey. Fifty thousand years As ago, you, do. you know, hanging out. You are like, do you hear that? What is that sound? <laughs> out of fucking nowhere, a nickel comes in with George Lincoln on it. <laughs> Seriously, though, I'm Nickelback. Just saying. That's, <laughs> that's where Nickelback wrote "Photograph." <laughs> That's why that was the <laughs> remainder. <laughs> oh, this is some George Jones crater. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, you're out there in the desert. <laughs> After Taco Bell. <laughs> Can you imagine, though, you're just fucking traversing the land and that shit happened? I mean, yeah, you probably died, but still. That, that would, would scare the dog shit out of me. That would be insane. <laughs> Your friends are like, what's the craziest thing you ever seen? You're like, well, my cousin shot an arrow in the air and caught it. And he's like, what about you? He's like, well, you hear that? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Fucking earth moves. He's <laughs> 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 like, well, damn. In two spot today, we have the scene. This is an image that went viral with people saying that if you typed in these certain coordinates, that you will see what people think is a man dragging a body down a dock <laughs> and leaving a bloody trail behind. That would be gruesome, I've, wouldn't it? I feel but like look, this was I've like... I've seen this. Yeah, this is like the very first thing you see whenever you mm -hmm. type in scary Google Earth. I, I remember every, this. Yeah, everyone's seen this one. Looking at the image, it does seem compelling, and that is pretty much what it looks like. Although it's definitely still a little unclear. In fact, wasn't it, was it like a dog or something? Like a dog got cut? I think that's what it was. It was something like that. It was an animal. I thought it was like something to do with a fish, but I can't remember. So compelling that Snopes actually did an article on it. The dock is located in the Netherlands, and according to their research into it, Snopes claims that the photo is just a few people walking, and they are likely accompanied by a sort of brown dog who may have just jumped into the water and then left some watermarks, thus the reasoning for the red-stained wood. That yeah. is definitely a less sinister explanation, and it's the one I'm hoping is true. In our number one spot today, we have the pond. Davy Lee Niles was 72 years old in 2006 when he disappeared. Sadly, for almost a decade, the case went cold as no one could find him or his car or even figure out what might have happened to him. That was until someone was decorating a Christmas tree in 2015 and was high up on a lift and they spotted something deep within a pond nearby. That something they spotted turned out to be something that had also been visible on Google Maps for years and in the end, it was the car that belonged to Davy. And when the authorities went to recover it, they were able to find his body inside. The car wasn't visible before because at ground level, it's just too Mercury. While the satellite image taken from Google Mercury. Maps makes it quite clear that there is something the there, not too months. many people are taking a virtual tour around this body of water. Thankfully, that person in 2015 wasn't only aware of their surroundings, but they said something when they saw something, and it was able to lead to closure for the family of Davy. And in our number one spot today, we have the poor donkey. Now, this has to be one of the funniest, yet... <laughs> Coming in at number one, a donkey. <laughs> Excuse all the government <laughs> yeah. weather testing and On nuclear bombs. Silly bomb. islands. Silly little bombs <laughs> and government testing and controlling the weather and murder scenes. This is the donkey. At that number got, one, we have a little donkey. It's the one that got hit by the nickel. <laughs> Saddest things caught on Google Earth slash maps. So you know how they have that van with the camera that drives along and it just snaps photos like every second in every direction? Well, while going along, it captured a donkey at the side of the road. Seconds later, if you click down the road and you turn back, the donkey's still there, just now laying on the floor. It had been hit by the Google Earth truck. It's pretty sad. <laughs> Rest in peace, donkey. <laughs> Devastating! And that's how it ends. <laughs> Look at that picture. Coming in at number one. Dead donkey. <laughs> the Google Earth truck <laughs> hit the fucking donkey. It is a travesty. <laughs> Silly little bombs and meteors and oh. government weather testing. It ain't fair. Just a sad little donkey. <laughs> it got nailed by Google. I mean, that is just... Can we get some Fs in the chat for the donkey? Some zero sevens for the donkey that got hit by the Google truck. Oh, my God. Oh, that's great. What a poetic ending. <laughs>
Chat, hey, thank you guys so fucking much for hanging out with us tonight. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support. If you're watching on YouTube and you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. Pretty please. Pretty, pretty, pretty please. Thanks for all the love and support from you guys. We love you all. You guys are fucking awesome for real. To the zoo about nine o'clock And I saw a funny monkey Playing with his cock And I thought to myself Man, what the fuck? That's just sad